Hey guys, I have some really exciting updates for you guys. We are planning to do a Would You Get Into Medical School Part 2. And this time we want to only do it for our subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, get on board. So to get involved with this, make sure you guys subscribe and follow both Core Beauty and myself, Harmon BH, on Instagram. All the links will be in the description. And then go ahead and DM either of us your whatever you want to portray yourself as, hopefully realistically, and it's <laughs> yeah. not a made-up application. <laughs> and send us your application and whatever you think uh, you want to include in that, and we will take a look at it and include you in our Would You Get Into Medical School Part 2 video. Two. Part Critique two. it. <laughs> exactly. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Med Bros channel, the only channel where we have a useless... Dot. I was, oh, I thought you were pointing at me. Thank you. I was pointing at you. But <laughs> In today's video, we are comparing second versus third and fourth year of medical school. Uh, and we're basically just going to give you the uh, the lowdown. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. The dos tres cuatro. The dos tres cuatro. Anything about feel second about year? It? Oh, it's um, high. Second year goal compared to first year. Yeah. You learn a ton between first and second year. Like I feel like, like August to first year versus August to second year. Oh man, the amount of difference there is. It's crazy. So yeah, I learned a lot first year. Um, this year, it's kind of just like, I feel like I'm not on that giant steep curve. Now I'm just kind of hitting a couple other blocks and then I'll have hit most of the information. Um, we just have, I think, three blocks left before our step. So um yeah i mean it's been okay we actually have morning clinical integration every morning so shaman i know had the half year kind of before he started clinicals in january right During yeah january. i mean we have an odd system we started yeah. like our first year but yeah we also have a program in that uh, first half of second year yeah but like similar kind of but not really but we also have every morning is actually clinical for us so and, what does that mean you uh, like an afternoon or like so a morning we have afternoon classes one to five but in the mornings eight to twelve is usually some sort of clinic like whether you're in the hospital with a hospitalist or you're in the student run clinic or you're in um uh some other assigned like whatever specific to the block you'll be with a clinician interesting so you have clinic and you're learning what do you prefer do you prefer the classroom or do you prefer uh, i hate the classroom i'm sorry <laughs> really? i hate the classroom i'm not a lecture person so uh yeah i take the morning any day um, that's interesting because third year is all clinical I kind of, I mean, we have like one day where we have like didactics, but I do kind of miss the classroom a little bit, a tiny bit. Um, I think it's after, a lot more chill, right? Like, yeah, because there are those rotations that you're just not going to like in third year. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, I kind of had a nice time in first year just sitting in a yeah. seat. Yeah, it is nice. I will agree that like after my mornings, it's nice to just be like, oh, yes, I'm going to finally sit down in a chair for like mm -hmm. four hours. So. Yeah, but third year is all clinical. And overall, I'd say it's pretty solid. I think I did enjoy the transition from classroom to clinical. Like clinical, I feel like you learn more. When you see a patient with a condition, it kind of sticks in your head more than just reading about it. Um, don't really have to focus. We don't have shelf exams. So not really worrying about testing too much. Um, we didn't. Yeah. Um, and in terms of learning, you're still reading, you're still learning. It's just instead of being like blocks, you're kind of just learning as it's pertinent to what you see that day or that week, mm -hmm. um, which I feel like is a lot better. So I really like third year, but what do you think about fourth year? So comparing it, so you're still thinking of some sciences. You're done with the basic sciences. You're doing more like systems-based stuff now, like cardiology, uh, renal, things like that. And you're doing clinicals. You're full on clinicals. Fourth year is clinicals, but also a lot of time off for kind of logistical things. So currently, um, a lot of fourth years are busy doing interviews. Uh, for their various residency programs that they're interested in. So I'm currently in the middle of interview season myself. I've 
uh, a couple coming up and in the middle of it you do do rotations as well but they're very relaxed they know you're a fourth year they know you're going off on interviews and um and and it's an exciting time to just go and see all these different programs and kind of hang out and have some free lunches free dinners and uh and just hang out and check out programs so that's pretty that much sounds awesome. really chill it does. i mean it sounds really stressful i think interviews are always stressful for me at least mm. uh so i'd be terrified like the entire week when i have an interview mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the kind of person i have i am but um Overall, it sounds like you don't have other than, are you like free to choose as many rotations as you want or how many do you have to do? Yeah, so there are still some requirements that our program uh, requires us to do, but there are other programs that just give them this entire time off to do interviews and then they go into residency, which is very lucky. But uh, I'm still in the middle of doing some kind of core rotations. I still have to do ER, ICU, kind of things like that. Um, so finishing up those, but again, like I said, they're very relaxed. Well, I see you might not be relaxed, uh, but most oh, of them yeah. are, are very kind of relaxed and laid back and there's no exams, there's no stress or anything like that. I don't have any problem with interviewing or anything after, even for you probably after the first couple, you're probably like, oh, I'm used to this. So um, very non-stressful, very relaxing part of the entire process. Do you have to learn? Did you, are you like reading? Cause you're done with your step yeah, exams. Yeah, like, what are you? all exams and everything and I am not, doing much <laughs> yeah you're not like yeah, intensively I, studying well, like yeah before residency starts i plan to kind of refresh my thing myself on a lot of yeah stuff, but you're not but, like actively studying for an exam yeah, or for exactly. okay. not actively to work toward yeah. okay interesting and beneath kind of alluded to it you're studying for a step yeah. yes. so what's that We're like two opposite ends of the spectrum. so what's that like for you like are you going to high gear now or what's what's um, that like um it's like an interview. Like I'm like getting interviewed <laughs> for a show. Like um, I mean, people well, like people want to know. Like what is second year? Like when do you fit yeah, in second so year? When do you fit in that stuff? I know stunning? a ton of my classmates have cranked it up to full gear already, um, and it is tough seeing that when you haven't cranked it up into full gear. So yet. most people take step end in of second May. year, right? Yeah. yeah. May, okay. Usually. And so people are cranking it up already. Mm -hmm. Oh man. And they've been cranked up for like the last month, I'd say. Okay. Oh, wow. So <laughs> yeah. So this Thanksgiving break, uh, yeah, I did open up U World and start doing like a couple questions. I've still been pretty much free. Like I want to enjoy my last real break because winter break's probably going to be in high gear because I don't get dedicated. I mean, I do get dedicated time. I get like around five weeks. Um, but yeah, that's not enough especially when I have mandatory class every day and I have that clinic I alluded to in the morning and then I have class then I have quizzes usually you know for like renal coming up I have a quiz every week um, I have research I'm still trying to keep up with so my schedule is really packed on weekdays so um, I'm really gonna try to take advantage of any breaks like winter break and stuff like that but yeah I mean, my weekends essentially are all gone now from this point on yeah. So that sounds pretty bad. It's so pretty you, bad. how do you rate, how do you, what do you think about overall? Is it a lot harder, stressful? You have some uh, free time? I'm still enjoying it because I think, uh, I don't know if I've shared this on the internet before, but I know I've talked to you about it. It's like, you can't have the mentality in medicine of like, oh, I can't wait until I'm the third year. I can't wait until I'm the fourth year. Cause then you're gonna be like, can't wait until I'm resident. Can't wait until I'm uh, actually practicing. Can't wait until I'm attending. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Your life, it can't wait until retirement. <laughs> Yeah, you're just gonna keep going. So uh, I would never. Somebody said that to me, and it just stuck. So I've just been kind of enjoying whatever I've had because I feel like, like Shaman said, maybe I'll miss the classroom. You know, next year a little bit, sometimes. A little bit. So yeah, I might like just might as well just enjoy whatever I'm doing right now. So that's how I'm kind of dealing with it. Yeah, in terms of like free time for me, um, there's not too much. That's why, like, I think right now with our channel, it, we we've been posting infrequently. It sounds like. He's just lazy. It sounds like he could make some videos. Uh, yeah, I, I won't get it going now. No, I've, been, I've been busy with uh, audition rotations. That's why. Yeah, no. Uh, the, the hardest part of fourth year, I should have mentioned, I'm over the hardest part, which is audition rotation, where you're going and spending a month at these programs that True. you're interested in on super high gear and, and trying to be, you know, on top of it and getting early and doing things from getting them coffee to, you know, kind of doing everything you can to be stand out. So yeah. I'm, I'm past that now. So you guys will see a lot more content. So make sure you subscribe. A lot of cool stuff coming up. Yes, and hit the bell. But yeah, like um, third year, it's really, you're just, every day is just like work. And then you're studying for that rotation specifically. Um, so like, it's basically been packed from January, which is when we started, to December, which next month is my last month. Um, so it's been 
really busy, really hectic, less free time than I would like. Uh, some rotations you don't even get weekends off. Um, and then some rotations are like all over the place. Like you'll get a random Wednesday off or something. And so it's been really hard to like keep a consistent schedule with like your daily activities like brushing, let alone <laughs> making a weekly video. Yeah. So uh, it's been pretty rough in terms of um, like hours and uh, trying to fit in free free time stuff. Um, but there, I feel like the jump in third year, that's so far between first, second and third. I feel like I've learned the most in third year. Um, and that's also because we take step after our third year. So I've been studying for step as well as trying to study and learn during my clinical rotations. So it's been like a huge step up this year for me. Yeah, yeah and for you guys, I think uh, I remember you guys are both entering into the hardest part, I think, of all of medical school, which is step one setting. So once you guys are done with step one, kind of everything from there is on cruise control it's not downhill per se it's not easier it's not harder it's kind of everything just kind of does itself uh step two kind of just you're ready for it you do it you get through your shelf exam get through your rotations um step one is kind of the big thing that you guys are working towards so but yeah i think the hardest part for me has definitely been uh and i mean i haven't started yet but it's going to be i know coming home uh at five from waking up at 6 a.m. and doing homework, which I mean, sometimes a lot of the times you have to prep for the next day of classes. And sometimes in the morning, like the stuff I do, I have to write write-ups like presentations and I have to present them the next day or I have to do something. So balancing that, the basic things I'm already doing in med school with having the energy to do like 10 questions. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That is gonna be like brutal, I already know. Yeah. Um interesting okay. how is um research been going for you um yeah like i said with just less free time it's harder to balance everything like that's why i have to push something out so like i'm trying to focus on research i'm trying to study for step I'm trying to focus on my rotations um and then like some stuff like just keeping up with the channel just gets like pushed down mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah like those main things are taking up all my time so it's been difficult but whatever you need to prioritize, like research, you will focus on. Yeah. Um, and it's what we come back to on the channel all the time where people are like, how do you do it all? Especially beneath here, who, uh, you know, somehow consistently gets up uh, YouTube content and things like that is, um, is just doing what you can do and knowing sometimes things have to take a back seat. I know when I was doing audition rotations, I was ill, you know, actually ill. I had the flu multiple times. I couldn't go to the gym. All that stuff just had to get pushed back to kind of get things out of the way. And now hopefully uh, I can get these, these pounds off even though we just had a giant thing. <laughs> and now we're going to Christmas, so. How, um, so would you say fourth year has been your best year? No, I think for me, the still to this day the second semester of my first year was the greatest schedule i've ever had i was learning the most i had ever learned yeah. i was doing cardio i was doing pulmonary i was doing renal kind of big systems um learning so much and just having a great time and had an amazing schedule I was playing basketball almost every other day it kind of sucks how that works huh where like you, when you learn the most is the best time but it's also when you have the free time like in that's so ideal and it i feel like it should be attainable but it's so like unattainable you know like I mean? having uh, a free time and having a great time studying? Yeah, like saying that, like people think it's so mutually exclusive. Like, oh, if you're learning a lot, you must not have had free Yeah, time. it's just about but the it's, environment. It's just about the schedule yeah. you're kind exactly. of Exactly. I was absolutely no mandatory class. There was, it was very home study friendly with uh, packets I was That's getting awesome. at home. Um, and they encouraged us basically to, if you wanted to study at home, study at home. And I was like, okay, I'll wake up at 11, play basketball and study for like seven hours before I go to bed. Um, and it worked for me and it was amazing. Yeah, and just to add to that, that the number of hours of the time you spend on something doesn't equate to the amount of learning you get. Mm -hmm. Like in third year, there are gonna be those rotations, like during my last surgery rotation, where you spend a ton of time just like in the OR, kind of standing around and you're not like I'm like I gotta worry about stuff I gotta focus on research I'm kind of just standing around and looking at a surgery I've seen for the 10th time yeah, helping set absolutely. up the room setting up the and, most yeah and even if you're paying the most attention and being most involved and you know you're getting all these questions right you're being pinned on the most you're gonna learn is like one or two takeaways during that entire surgery yeah. versus you could have learned so much more on your own studying and etc and yeah. obviously that's not to take away stuff that you can only learn on rotation yeah and there's definitely stuff yeah. but it's variable like 
there are going to be those rotations where you learn little and then like this ER rotation that I was just on it's fast paced you're seeing so many different patients you have like a lot of independence I would say as a Yale student and you kind of really get to learn things and learn how to manage patients like this patient's coming in with this what would you do and when you get asked that it's like you really put your head in gear that you can't really get from reading the books so I think that it's very variable but there's those rotations where it's like damn I gotta be doing other stuff and then there's those rotations where it's like I could not have gotten this experience anywhere else yeah. um, but I want to ask how do you compare third year rotations to your fourth year um oh, like right. sub -I that's stuff. another thing that's a great point that fourth year you've been through it you've been through all the rotations in third year well almost all of them there's still some that i haven't done um but you've been through it you know how rotations work you know how schedule works and you're much more confident and you are a little better than you are in third year so when i'm going up and showing up to these fourth year rotations i'm much more comfortable um I, i'm you know not this kind of scared little third year which is kind of how most third years are so it, it feels a lot better i like fourth year rotations yeah as a third year you really don't know anything you don't yeah. know half of the stuff that's going on in the hospital yeah. like let's transfer this patient here let's get them on this yeah. maintenance dose or whatever it's like uh okay yeah <laughs> exactly. much more comfortable putting in assessments and plans and kind of doing things and kind of coming up things on my, on my own so that's fun i think um one of the things like doing these clinical things every morning uh i know some of my classmates hate it some of them love it um but we have heard feedback from like hospitals uh that go like that deal with other med students too and they say that a lot of our students are very good at hpis because of this mm -hmm. so even though i Sometimes I really hate it. I feel like I do have those irreplaceable learning moments that I won't get in the classroom that are obviously benefiting, will benefit me in third year if, you know, uh, preceptors are saying that type of thing. So yeah, I mean, as much as we sometimes complain about, you know, our curriculum, including mandatory things that shouldn't really be there, sometimes they're helpful, but I still think so. You have a lot of mandatory activities during your uh, your second year? Because I know, I think Absolutely. in our first year video, you kind of complained about that. Yeah, everything's mandatory still. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it's rough. Uh, like I said, eight to five pretty much every day. I think I get maybe one morning off a week. So like eight to 12, I'll get off. And then maybe I'll use it to like go to the gym or something. So yeah, it's rough, but just gonna get rougher. But I'll be good, I'll be fine. So what is your favorite year of medical school so far? We'll start with you, Beneath. First or second? I liked first. Why? It was just so much more chill. Okay. Like no clinical stuff and just like a lot of like better schedule. Okay. I had way more time to like go to the gym and do stuff and yeah, yeah, no, I learned a lot. Like I said, the learning curve was the steepest in first year. So I felt like I went from like zero to hundred. Yeah, okay. I agree. I think first, second or third, I think third year I learned the most, um, but it was also a little too intense. Um, like I feel like sometimes you need a breather and you sometimes don't get that third year. First year was really chill, but I feel like I didn't learn as much first year. So I might go with second year. Wow. I, I might go with second year. It's a good balance. The same years, or it's different years, but for the same reason. Yeah, exactly. I felt like I learned a lot while at the same time having a little bit of balance to take a breather when I yeah, needed. Yeah, that's how I was. Um, first year, and I kind of knew what was going on second year, so my inefficient ways of studying things that, mm -hmm. like lecture notes that are kind of useless, um, I kind of stopped doing that and focused on what was important second year and I felt like I was learning stuff. So second year for me, what about for you? I kind of went over it already. Second half of my first oh, year. Oh yeah, you yeah. didn't mention that. Okay. All those reasons. Kind of. Okay. Yeah, seems like we value the same thing kind of like I feel like if you're a director watching this, med students like work like life balance we like time you know go to the gym and be healthy sometimes no people are probably already uh, gonna be like you guys didn't actually go out and do rotations and be your doctor and stuff like that mm -hmm. it's like a, as a medical student years one to four uh other than my sub which was an amazing experience maybe that is up there um you're you're kind of just a glorified shadow for a lot of it um yeah yeah, so I mean that, that's a whole other video which we can get into on uh, you know how we feel about clinical rotation, etc. But um, yeah, looking forward to being an actual doctor as a, as a resident next year. Yeah, and kind of like what you were alluding to, medicine. being a doctor is totally different than being a medical student. Like you're not doing the surgery as a medical student. Yeah. While it might be more exciting to do the surgery as a surgeon, you know what I mean. Yeah. So just because it wasn't as exciting being a med student in a surgery rotation 
that doesn't mean that uh, we, we yeah, hate. Passionate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So okay. yeah. Uh, Someone's gotta close that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Anyways, fun. great video. Subscribe, share. Anything else? No. Subscribe to our Subscribe channel, us. please. Subscribe. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and we will see you in our next video. See ya. Bye.